Good morning, Poka fans. It is I, Granarai, and here we are back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal with our Gen 2 Type Challenger Flying Type, our final Gen 2 Pokemon team. And we're ready to go take on Kanto. So, are you all ready to finish a generation? Because I am. As we always do on these final playthroughs, we're going to speed through everything, except them gym leader fights. Because Kanto is the joke. But we are going to finish this out. And if we have enough time, we're going to start Gen 3 today. Which is so exciting after two years on Gen 2. I hope you all are as excited as I am. Oh, well, that just got um, knocked out up to the same level as the other two. We're going to speed through the SS Aqua here. Shouldn't be too much of an issue for us, which is very nice. Get ye old day knocked out, leveled up to 48. Of course, our hardest gym leader is the one that we're going to face first, which is going to be uh, Lieutenant Surge. And the reason Lieutenant Surge is the hardest is because I guess it's not, we'll have Steel Wing by Brock. So hopefully that'll help us get past Brock easy. Alright, let's send out Zapdos. Who now has Thunder Wave. And soon, we'll have Drill Pack. Oh, I say Thunder Wave, I meant Thunderbolt. We, we replaced Thunder with Thunderbolt. Even though it does less damage, it is more accurate. Get out of here. And toss this. Let's go get this rare candy. Should be our final one. We have five now, we do. Alright, into the Surge Gym. Looks like we still need another level, I believe, to get Drill Pick. Pidgeot is a beast, though, with that return. So we're going to start, we're going to use probably everybody. I, I'm not entirely sure. This is going to be a tough fight. We're going to start off with Zapdos up front. We're going to Thunder Wave this Raichu to start things off. Good full paralysis. Ooh, decent damage with that Swift. Thunder waves us back, which is a good move. Electrode. We'll keep Zapdos out. We're going to Thunder Wave it as well. Let's 
I don't care how many times you double team, I can still hit you with a swift. Still hit you with the swift. Literally just wasting your turn, Electro. Just wasting it. Got it. Two down. Alright, so this will probably be the hardest one. We're gonna send out Pidgey out here. We're gonna mud slap it. Good damage. Does it lock on? It double teams. As long as we hit it here, we're good. I think Pidgeot's out of faint. Oh, Pidgeot, you beast! He did hit that Zap Cannon through the Mud Slap, so we have to get Magneton back. But Pidgeot held on, which is ridiculous. Uh, we're gonna swap back to Zapdos. Paralyzing these things gives us a huge edge. Also, the, you know, neutral to thunder to electric damage is really nice. Not only do they have a chance to skip a turn, we go before them every time. So swift. Good full paralysis there. Lieutenant Surge healed up as well. So all we have left is an Electabuzz. Or no, an Electrode. Um, send out Knockdown. Oh, you weren't supposed to wake up. So we for sure take it out if it stays asleep two more turns. If we can hit it with confusion, I think we take it out this turn. Mm. Alright, well, it stayed asleep. That should do it. Surge is down. I still can't believe that Pidgeot survived that Zap Cannon from Magneton. That was clutch. Psychic, even though for some reason Knocked Out can't learn it, which I don't know why. Into Sabrina's Gym. There's the drill pack. Hey, Wopey. You want Wopey or Whoopy? I think you, you Wopey. It was W-O-P-I. How are you doing this morning? Good luck with your classes starting today, by the way. I do. I have more than just a Venusaur. Thank you. Come 
call me the second one, Whoopi? Can do. Oh, no class today. Well, you are in luck, because we if you hang out, we're going to push past the rest of Gen 2, and we're going to finish this up today, all the way to red. And then if we have time, we are going to start our Gen 3 playthrough, since we are completely done with Gen 2, and go to sleep, Slowpoke. Oh my goodness, and it woke up again? Slowpoke is not being nice. Well, half of the teacher didn't come to school, and only me plus two of your pe people came to class today. Gotcha. I feel bad for the teachers. Alright. Let's we'll swap up Pidgeot. Psychic! Espeon comes out. There's our Pidgeot. We're gonna come up with a return. And we're faster. Very nice. Oh, what's the ride? Flinch? No flinch. So the teachers just noted our presence in their book and you were free to go. Gotcha. Quick attack! I missed. Alright, we're gonna swap for the mime. We're gonna go to knocked out here. Gotta put it to sleep. Nice. Give it a nightmare. Then we're gonna heal Pidgeot. All right. Well, now we're gonna heal Knockdown. Go to sleep, Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime is fast asleep, having the nightmare. Could have got home earlier, but you spent some time chatting with my friends. Oh, no, not a problem. Hey, you didn't miss nothing here. You having a social life is more important than sitting here watching me play Pokemon. But I am glad that you were here to socialize with me after you have socialized with your friends. Let's return on this Alakazam. Got it! Critical hit! Pidgeot is the chomp! Boom! Your Mr. Mime would prefer to use the explosion than mimic... <laughs> ...than mimic your strategy or moves. Gotcha! Let's hop out of here. Um, we're gonna swap up. It really doesn't matter who we use in the next gem. I think we want to keep Knocked Owl for Fuchsia, so we're gonna use Zapdos now. At some point here, when I have enough money, I need to go restock my inventory. I might not have enough now. Actually, I might, actually. Let's go restock really quick. What do I need? 6, 3, and 15. Why do I have enough money for that? Oh, that should be plenty. Alright, back to Celadon. 
We didn't restock it earlier because we uh, used all our money to get Thunderbolt for uh, Zapdos. And now we got some leftovers here for Noctowl. There you go. So just so you know, Whoopi, um, is that I speed through, like, all of Kanto, um, because all the trainers are super underleveled for being a post-game section, so we only go normal speed during the, uh, gym leader fights. Allows us to get it done, you know, pretty, in a single hour episode. But, like I said, we're gonna keep going on, and we're gonna, we're gonna finish out this entire playthrough today. And then you'll get to see the debut of Gen 3. With our wonderful team that uh, Krishinabon picked out for us to start with. Using our channel point incentives. <laughs> I love your emotes. I need a... Uh invest in some more of my own. I've been holding off right now. More important things to spend money on. Alright, so we are fighting Erica. She has sent out her Tangela, who tried to sleep powder us, but we dodged it, so Pidgeot deftly took it out. Tangela's got really high defense, so that's why it survived that wing attack. We got Victory Bell coming out next. <laughs> the tree Psyduck is the best one. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Alright, Victory Bell is down. That leaves Jump Luff and Blossom. Who's coming out next? It's gonna be Jump Luff next. Okay, okay. Remember to win, you just have to not lose. Excellent advice. Alright, Jump Luff is down. That just leaves Blossom. Wing attack. Ooh, it survived. But it wastes its turn setting up a solar beam. You ain't surviving this, my friend. Erica is down. All right. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. As I said, good emotes. We took out that wheezing lickety split. Let's hop up knocked out here. That was gross. I am terribly sorry. I should not do that to the microphone. That is on me. Biking through the town. <laughs> I, you know, I, I swam this morning, and what it is, it's my body expelling all the pool of water. <laughs> I mean, you say it's okay, it's not okay. I, I, I'm a better host than that. Hey, squeeze me, Firo. So, Whoopi, being uh, new, oh yeah, the, the uh, 
A gassed whooper. Being new to the channel, do you have any questions about the rules or anything that uh, we do with these playthroughs? Just along for the ride. Well, kinda, okay. I mean, feel free to chat away. This is a safe space. Do you have any experience rule? Um, so normally, like, when we go through the regular gems, so, um... Being that this playthrough uses all Pokemon of a single type, we do not do any Nuzlocke rules. Um, like, if a Pokemon gets knocked out, we can still use it. Because it's hard enough to get through the entire game with a single type at times, because there are some walls for certain teams. And we are just... This allows us to experience every Pokemon for how it's built for the game. Uh, and, you know, we don't skip any Pokemon for its types. And we also see some really unique challenges using the monotype rule. So the only experience rule that I have is when we're going through the, the normal gems, I really try not to go above the level of the gem leader's highest level Pokemon. I try to keep under it. The only exception I had in this one is because of the level jump is so small between Chuck and Price. Because um, Price's highest level Pokemon is like 31 and Chuck's is 30. Um, and we have to fight the first whole Team Rocket base in between. Uh, there's no way to keep underneath of that like Nuzlocke would. So we, uh, we really otherwise, we always level up our team up to the level of the Gym Leader's highest Pokemon. Whenever, before we fight him. Now, Red, we always keep... We get up to level 65, which is way under level of Red's team. But it also um, gives us a... It gives us a fighting chance at level 65. Otherwise, no. There's no experience rule. At, like, here at the post game, we, we're over-leveled because we're... Uh, because Kanto's a joke. I'm not gonna lie. There's no reason to sugarcoat it. So, what about level 69? I mean, that is the nicest level, but we don't get up that high. <laughs> we will in, the, in Gen 3. I think in Gen 3, I was looking, I think we're going to level up our team to level like 70 or 72, somewhere around there, 70 to 72. So we will hit the nice level. Alright, let's get out of here. Not in Gen 2, I'm sorry, no level 69, I do apologize. We stop at 65. Oh, well, this is not who I wanted to have up front, I meant to switch Pidgeot up and then I didn't. We also try to keep all of our Pokemons levels the same you know we tr we try to level up equally across the board we don't want any one pokemon to out level the other ones and not be used if that makes sense yes we do have a limit on pokemon um for gen 2 teams only consisted of three or four pokemon so we never used more than four and we always had a room for two mews just to slap hms on so we didn't have to teach any hms to our pokemon um and also some types like you were like you couldn't learn all the hms you needed on the type that we were using so the the mews were just for hms but yeah teams of three or four was our limit for gen 2. now when we get to gen 3 coming up we will have um teams of uh four or five for every type And then we'll have two Mews that will cycle between for our HMs.
Oh, come here. And we always... Our teams are all randomly generated. We don't pick who's on our team. We... We have a list. If you type in exclamation mark teams, you'll see for each type, there's a list of all available Pokemon of that type. Um, and the evolution light counts as one Pokemon. Like for fire type, Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard counts as one fire Pokemon. I don't have to do a playthrough for just Charmander, just Charmeleon, just Charizard. Um, teams. You gotta put the S on the end. I'm sorry. There you go. So, um... Sorry. Um... We... We... Roll... We roll random... We... What? We randomize our teams. So I say like, oh, there's 17 Pokemon of water type left to use. So I roll 1 through 17 until I get 4 Pokemon. And the teams are randomly generated. So, uh, we have no control over who's on the team. But once we use a Pokemon on a team for its type, it is removed from the list. Then we keep going till we've used all Pokemon for their types. Now, if a Pokemon doesn't have a type starting up, but gains it in a later evolution, for example, like Charmander is not flying type, but Charizard is, we can still start out with a Charmander on a flying playthrough, being that it's going to evolve into a Charizard. But... If a Pokemon loses a type in the evolution, we cannot evolve it. For example, um, like Scyther into Scizor. Scyther is flying type, but Scizor is not. So if we were doing Scyther for a flying type playthrough, we would have to keep it a Scyther and never evolve it into a Scizor. Yeah. <laughs> I like that little <laughs> potato notes. Which is why for Gen 3 we have like a playthrough that we'll have to use with Surskit and not evolve it into Masquerain because it'll lose its water typing. Same thing with Swablu and Azuril. And Ninkata. We do have our ROMs ran through a randomizer editor, so any trade evolutions are enabled in the game as just level evolutions, usually. Yeah, and if you want to see the rules listed, you can do exclamation mark rules, and it will pull up the list. We added a few new rules for Gen 3 that we didn't have for Gen 2. Uh, and those are regarding um, moves. So starting with Gen 3, um, Pokemon have to know a move of the type of the team that it's using. Uh, if they have a signature attack, we have to know a, their signature attack. Uh, if they have multiple, we just have to know one. And then... Um, uh, we cannot, sh you know, share a move more than, uh, twice between Pokemon, which, you know, no, two Pokemon cannot, more than two Pokemon cannot know the same attack. I think I said that right. No more than two Pokemon can share the same attack. Unless it, uh, is so they all have a move of that type. You can't defy that rule. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> there it is. Oh. They kind of cut off the end of it there. I'll, I'll need to see if I can fix that. Where is... Just a second, let me get to my Boobot really quick.
There we go. Get out of here. So we blow through Kanto and fight all these low-level trainers just to get the experience because it saves us from grass leveling at the end of the game. I mean, they're on the way. We might as well take them on. Alright, we need to get Steel Wing up here. It is essential. Yes, we are bullying random people in the city. Guys out here fishing, and the champion walks up. Hey, you want a battle? My boy, the, <laughs> the Quagsire. I did take out the Quagsire. You gonna pull a Marlon Brando on me? You know, look what they did to my boy. He could have been a contender. Now he's nothing but a bum. Oh, this is not the right Pokemon for this fight. Rot row. Rot row. Rot row. Come on, knock down. Get one down and we'll switch to Pidgeot. My son and my wife are upstairs because it's still summer vacation. <laughs> he is like a buffalo. The way he tromps across the floor. Have you ever thought that the legendary birds are only legendaries with no official uh, backstory with a mission? They're just like elemental beings. I mean, eh. I never really thought about it, though. <laughs> I think they were just like, hey, we need something legendary. Earth, wind, fire. Except they didn't do wind, they did electricity. Because they were all wind. Pidgey out, let's get rolling. We are halfway done with the trainer gauntlet. We just need to make our way over to the power plant and then across the nugget bridge. And we are Dory Hunky. Dal, you're so bad in Gen 2. You know, I, I think when they made the first Pokemon games, there was a lot of Pokemon they didn't come up with backstories for. They were just like, you know, the Scion of Fire. We need a, it's going to be a bird, because they're all birds. And it's going to live in volcanoes, because that's like the source of all fire. And... Sleep with your Machop is cute. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that meme. Yeah, that is, that's pretty funny. Same thing about like any of the three Kanto starters wetting the bed. All right, we have talked to the manager. There's a criminal in uh, Cerulean. Off to the Cerulean.
goodness, you could probably hear him upstairs. You could hear him through my headphones. He's playing hard. Oh my gosh, send out your level 30 goal bat. I'm almost twice the level of, thank you. Back to the power plant. Makes me remember your Pokemon Silver save where you had a shiny Raticate. Because it is so shiny, like a diamond in the <laughs> sunken pirate ship. As long as you took better care of your shiny Raticate than Gary did of his Raticate in Red and Blue. Whoop! Said it! You miss it. <laughs> Let's expand our radio. Its name was Alex. It's a good name for a Raticate. All right, Pidgey out, let's go. Wow. Beat six traders. You think you can shut up and beat and fight me? I gotta get up here to get Misty back to her gym. Gotta ruin her date. That's not what I wanted to use. Uh, it worked. Okay. Need to pay better attention to where my attacks are. Almost done with the trainer gauntlet. The Pokemon are truly outstanding. That's because they're farmers and they're outstanding in their field. Alright, Misty's back at our gym. Excellent. Um, we're gonna use Pidgeot just a little bit here. And we're gonna use Zapdos for like the next two gyms, and it's gonna get a lot of experience, so we're gonna use Pidgey just a little bit. Oh yeah, gotta catch a Wooper and Quagsire after you finish the game. This is not a suggestion or an ass, it's an order. Okay! You know, you could always use your channel points incentives if you watch long enough to choose one of my next Gen 3 playthroughs to include a Quagsire. We're gonna fight a Quagsire here shortly, too. Alright, Misty fight time! Sid's out a Gold Duck to start. We're gonna Thunderbolt it. Quagsire. Alright, knockdown. We're going to hypnosis it? Yeah, we are. Go to sleep. Have bad dreams. <laughs> Nightmare. I think it goes down next turn to a confusion. What am I? 
I salute you for Whoopi's sake. Ads? Oh, must have ran one. I'm sorry. They're just random on the channel. I forgot. I apologize. I didn't run it. <laughs> it just ran ra randomly. It ended in Quagsire Death. All right, that Lapras is down. That just leaves a Starmie. And we're gonna Thunderbolt it. Skidoosh. All right. Let's go to Vermillion. Star me, more like starving. <laughs> Alright, we caught the Snorlax. We're so good at this game. The only reason we catch the Snorlax is to take its lunch. And give it to Zapdos. Spray some poke away. And we've made it. Excellent. Bullying the random Snorlax. That's right. And I'll do it again. We take that Snorlax sludge every playthrough. <laughs> My man is a dark type. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> yeah, my Pokemon power is Psycho Boost. That's my Pokemon power, or Pokemon move. Alright. We got Dream Eater. That's why we detoured down here really quick. So we can teach Dream Eater to our Noctowl. Now we're going to go back to Pewter. Y'all ready for this? Your Pokemon abilities, guts. Um. Wow. We're gonna switch that close up. All right, Brock. Starts out with a Graveler. We're gonna come in with a Steel Wing. Comes in with a folding chair! Are humans catchable? Are you calling me a catch? Alright, we took a rollout and then we uh, healed up with the, with the uh, leftovers we stole from uh, Snorlax. Finish off the uh, Graveler. Next we have an Onyx. Zapdos comes in with the Steel Wing. Now, Onyx has got a bajillion defense. It'll it'll handle that pretty well. Whoa, blows up the Sandstorm.
It's just like, if Pokemons are catchable, why not humans? You know, I, I saw another com or comic on that as well. Misses the rock slide. Bad day for you, Onyx. Alright, there we go. Now it's down. Best narrator of 2023. Well, I appreciate the award. Alright, Sandstorm is still raging. Coming with another Steel Wing. Excellent. Rhyhorn's still probably gonna weather that. Scary face! Ooh! Gasp! Alright, we're gonna drill pack it to take it out. Rhyhorn, more like high normie. <laughs> Alright. This Cobbatops and Almost Star are gonna have a bad day because they got the water type. Oh, it's fast! Why is it so fast? Splash. Get out of here, you horseshoe crab. Uh, horseshoe crab, uh, praying mantis. Good one, got him, yeah. <laughs> Thunderbolt, coming in for the Obastar. It's slow. We got it. Easy peasy. Squeezy lemons. The ancient Krabbe. We leveled up knocked out off to that off of that. That's pretty nice. Uh, come on, put it to sleep. Alright, final rival fight coming up. Not that it's going to be difficult. Ah, oh, poison me. Crazy how some fairy types have scary behaviors and some dark types. Yes. I've read some of the Pokemon entries. That's another thing that we do in this playthrough is we do read all of those. I, I think they're very interesting. Um, Pidget. Let's take on Mr. We Don't Know His Name. Question mark, question mark, question mark. That's what the game told us his name was. Schneezel down. Mud slap a magneton. Mud slap a magneton. Electrocuted gold bat. Put the Ginga to sleep and then eat its dreams. Easy peasy. Um, I'm a monk. I didn't, I didn't know if you knew that in my past time. Um, let me introduce myself. I am the mysterious old guy. <laughs> Alright, so that's not where I want to go. I want to go take on this guy with the level 50 starters. Because I want that experience. Typhlosion. Even with the light screen out, that Thunderbolt took out that for alligator. All right, Pidgeot. Ready? 
return. Return. Return to sender. Address unknown. And then we have one more trainer here. This is our last regular trainer that we fight. We gotta get blue to go back. Swap up the zap. Wow. Already bullied every person we could. That's right. Alright, Blaine time. I mean, I still have two more gym leaders to bully. Never gave myself a boulder badge. Thunderbolt this Macago. Gone. One down, two to go. Thunderbolt. And there's the rapid dash. Didn't get the level up Zapdos? Come on. Alright, we're gonna fly back to Viridian and we're gonna heal up and take on the actual only gym leader. That's a challenge. We're gonna swap up our Pidgeot to take on his Pidgeot to start off. To prove who is the real Pidgeot master. Better give myself a volcano badge while I'm thinking about it. All right, return. Are we the same level too? Nice. What a hit! My Pidgeot's like, watch. All right, now the right on is going to be an issue. Issue. Um, ads again? My bad, my friend. Um, let's see. Let's swap out Noctowl for this right on. We're gonna put it to sleep. Yeah, we are. Nice. Let's give it the nightmare. And then we're going to eat that dream. Oh, and it woke up. It didn't like that. No, go back to sleep. You are not allowed to be awake right on because then you are dangerous. I command you to sleep so I can eat your nightmare dreams. Dark eye be like. <laughs> Bad dreams on the Raz. Alakazam. Okay. Okay. I can respect that. Zapdos! Steel. No, that is not what I wanted to use. Trill Pack was the correct choice. And I should slow down on what I'm doing. Arcanine. Hmm. Oh, Pidgeot. Return! 
Look how mad that Pidgeot is. He's so fierce. So ferocious. Did over half the damage of that, Ar Ar no, that Arcanine with a single return. We take a Flamethrower. No burn. Excellent. Done. Done. Done skis with the Arcanine. Gyarados. We're going to send out Zapdos. Because Zapdos eats Gyarados for breakfast. And because we want to get two on every poke you know for every pokemon we're gonna send out knocked out here for this executor it's just a sleep did you know that in terms of safety and vigilance dodrio is the best pokemon to look over something because when it two heads are sleeping the third one is awake i did know that because like i saw that when you read them pokemon biologies at the beginning of every uh, playthrough he egg bombed us did he just egg my pokemon like he egged my house Go to sleep, Executor. Alright, he's used two full restores on this Executor just to wake it up. We have now given it a Nightmare. We are not going to Dream Eater it, though, because it would not be very effective. We're also just eating our food to get health back. So we're going to fly into the air while this pineapple tree sleeps. And then swooping from the sky comes Noctowl. That's it. GG, blue. Did you know that in terms of female... Sorry? Palm tree is a dragon. Yes. Two seconds. Okay, 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 sorry. I was just making sure my son and it was okay up there with my wife. Uh, he, they were playing rough with the dog, and I guess my son and the dog uh, hit heads, and my son was upset about it. So, uh, why is the palm tree a dragon? No, tell me. I am back, yes. So we're gonna 
end this episode here for YouTube. For YouTube purposes, this episode ends here. We're going to keep streaming, though. So, enter episode leveling. Here we go.